New Year's Eve at midnight means playing this one for our friends. You can play it too. I'll show you the open chords and an easy strum pattern. Welcome back to Relax Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin and this is Maggie May, who's doing very well with her treats today. My wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. Let's get started on this song for New Year's. So, Old Lang Syne, I have to admit, I had to look at... Vic, did you know what this meant? No, I didn't. <laughs> so, like, we've sang this song all of our lives, and we're like, okay, what does it mean? Because I'm, I'm sure I'll get some comments if I don't kind of bring this up. So, Old Lang Syne is basically a song about meeting up with old friends and reminiscing about good old times. So, I mean, great idea for a song. So the phrase Old Lang Syne actually means times long past. It's like Old Scottish. So I just love learning about the history of that uh, before we get started with the song lesson. There's five easy open chords. Uh, now this one is a little fast paced, but we can slow it down and work up to that. But for the chords that you'll need to use, you're gonna need to know a G chord. An E minor chord. An A minor chord, a D7 chord, which I call the backwards D, and a C chord. This one's really good for kind of changing chords because the uh, chords we're playing are in pretty quick succession. So for the strum pattern, we're going to uh, work up to the one I was using at the beginning of the video. But to begin with, we're just going to do these chords with two down strums on each chord. You're going to start with the, the chord progressions of G, E minor, A minor, D7, then we have that G for two strum patterns, so four strums, and a C for four strums. Then that, uh, that will help kind of set you up to get used to kind of the speed and pace of this one. So it's really actually a good song to learn to change those chords quick and smooth. If you'd like more tips on how to do that, check out this video here after you're finished with this one, of course. After you got that down, just those two down strums on each chord, we're going to uh, work in this strum pattern. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing the bass or root note of the chord first. For this G is the sixth string. And then a down up strum. That's the strum pattern, bass, down, up, on each chord. G, E minor, both of those are six string roots. Then we go to the A minor, that is a fifth string root or bass note. The D7 is a fourth string. Then back to that G on the sixth. Two strums there, and then C on the fifth. So all together you've moved from this acquaintance be forgot to this may or should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind <laughs> and this is relax and learn guitar it's not relax and learn how to sing so that that high notes a little bit out of my range but you know I say uh, singing while you're playing is a great way to get better at guitar, so go for it. So we're working toward that bass down up. So I'm just gonna kinda, the, the, the chord changes happen quick here. I'm just gonna kinda sing the chord changes for you, all right? So it starts on this G. I'll be using the bass down up pattern. So should G, E minor, A minor, D7, G twice, C twice, G, E minor, A minor, D7, E minor, C, G two times. We love bringing these lessons to you each week and helping you relax and learn guitar. It would really help us out if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel so we can keep on doing that. 
So grab that guitar, make sure you're in tune. If you want to sing, sing, I'm going to. And we'll just kind of do this one through. Uh, we'll play like the, the first two verses. This one has a you know long story in it. We're not going to cover the whole thing. But what you learned here, you can play the whole song if you like. So uh, grab that guitar, let's go here. I'll just count us in. Three, two, one. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? In days of old lang syne, my dear, in days of old lang syne, should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne. So play that one this year with your friends and have a happy new year. Next, you can check out these seven tips I put together for you on ways you can get better at playing the guitar. Check that one out next. Until next year, when we see you for the next lesson, remember, you're never too old to learn.